Not sleep on this video, bro. This video is highly important. I swear to God, people think that folks may just be some basic shit. This is a really important thing I gotta talk about. Look, it's your boy Dom from Domino Culture Entertainment. Coaching down below, Patreon down below, Discord down below, all kinds of stuff down below. You know how this stuff go. So look, we're gonna talk about in this video, we're gonna talk about what is focus. Why is focus important in general? We're gonna talk about lamp versus laser. That's a video I made in the past, but I'm gonna go really, I'm gonna talk more about that a little bit. We're gonna talk about the importance of focus when achieving your goals, the importance of focus when meditating and with spirituality and stuff like that, as well as how to get better at focusing. This is not a video just for spiritual people though. This is a video for everybody. Whether you're just a regular person or a spiritual guy, or you wanna do some, focus is like the basis of freaking everything, okay? So what even is focus? Focus, right, is pretty much being able to concentrate, right? Being able to concentrate mainly on one thing without wavering. You know, you're only just observing this one thing. Just being able to observe just one thing and that's it, right? Now, with that being said, why is it important? Well, dang, these shades make it harder to see, huh? Really, really the light from the flash also. But um, I wish I don't miss anything. You know, it's, you know the video's important. I make notes for it, bro. You know it's important. You know what I'm saying? But look. Focus is important, right? Because, like, it helps you, you know, not get distracted, right? Whether you're trying to achieve a goal, whether you're trying to meditate on what you actually are, the reason most people cannot achieve what they want to achieve is because they have no focus whatsoever. Let me give you a pure example, right? You have a certain goal you want to achieve, right? If you were to stay focused on that goal 24-7, you would achieve it way faster. But I know for a fact that you don't focus on it most of the time because... I ain't going to say most of the time. But I know for a fact that you probably don't focus on it because you probably do certain things that the person who achieved that goal would not do. But if you were actually focused on that goal and who you were when you achieved that goal, you wouldn't do certain things that contradict the goal. But you often do several things that contradict the goal. You know? Like, I talk, believe me, I'm a life coach. I talk to people. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't, I'm not very aggressive when I talk to them. I'm very understanding and stuff like that. But when I make these YouTube videos, I'm going to talk directly at you. Like, I'm talking to your soul and, and like, we're going to cut the crap here. You know what I'm saying? I talk to people, whether I'm coaching them, whether they're just my friends. I can literally see it everywhere. Because people talk about it in books. You know what I'm saying? Even even some of my friends will say, yo, I got to be more focused. You know what I'm talking about, my boy? You know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, right? Focus is very important. If you stay focused on one goal and you don't waver from that, you're going to achieve it way faster because you're only going to get thoughts, emotions, impulses, and actions that are aligned with that goal you're, that you're thinking about. If you're doing things opposite to the goal, then you're focused on something that is not the goal, which is why you have thoughts, emotions, and actions for that thing that is not the goal. Stay focused on your goal. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's talk about lamp versus laser, right? It's a video that I made back in the past. Do I have any water in here? A little parched. I should have bought some water in here. It's all good. Lamp versus laser, right? You know how, like, if you go inside of a room that has a lamp, right? The light doesn't really burn you, right? If anything, you'll only get burned if you actually touch the light bulb, right? Why? How, how can you touch the light bulb you get burned? Because all the light is concentrated right there, then it spreads out, right? Now, like I said, the lamp is not really harmful if you just walk inside the room. You're not going to get burnt by the light. But if you touch it where it's concentrated at, you're going to get burnt. Why am I saying that? Because most people are freaking lamps out here. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're really... And, and you don't even... I don't know where you touch the light bulb at on a person. Because most people just... They're lamps. They're not concentrated, right? So they really have no power inside this world. They're just all floating. <laughs> if you become a fucking laser, bro, you're just going to zoot, direct, dunk, you know what I'm saying? And niggas not going to want to touch a fucking laser. I'm not touching a goddamn laser. Maybe if you're one of them small-ass pointer lasers, you know what I'm saying? But like an actual, like, big-ass laser, like, you're not going to want to touch that shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you stop being a lamp, this unfocused behind light that just goes anywhere because peep lamps the light goes everywhere it goes that direction that direction it doesn't just go in one direction you know what i'm saying a lizard goes in one direction you know what i'm saying it's done 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 people just be out here everywhere floaty ha, ha, ha. and it's like you could be on that floaty stuff but there's a different see people people get inside those it's imagine like you're just drunk, right? And you're and you're not in control of yourself. Huh, you feel great, but you're not in control, right? People could be blissed out and still in control. People could feel good, like, 
mm, it's a great day. Let's get it done. Done, done. They'll get it all done. But they still feel like, mm, 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 but they're more concentrated in their focus. They're not just, mm, 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 mm. stop being the lamp. Okay, become a laser. Now, we're going to talk about how, how to gain focus, okay? But let's talk, about, let's talk about focus on achieving your goals, like I already kind of talked about, right? Yeah, actually, I already kind of talked about that. So I, I kind of skipped that. Just, just know that if you want to achieve a goal, think about it 24-7. Keep the image in your mind of that goal and the kind of person that you are when you want to achieve that goal. You know what I'm saying? And then realize that whenever you waver from that, Go back to the goal. That's why I said form a picture because the picture is more tangible. You know what I'm saying? You can actually see it. You know what I'm saying? Feeling it is good also, but feelings are a bit less tangible than like an image. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to like focus on, if you want to achieve a goal really good, like fast, focus on that goal and what that goal implies. What mindsets do you need to achieve that goal? You know what I'm saying? What are, what are the common thoughts? What are the common emotions? You know what I'm saying? What does it look like? What kind of person are you? You know what I'm saying? And focus on that all the time even when you meditate bring that inside your because when you meditate the first step is what the focus focus people be asking me how you do all this cool stuff bro when i first started meditating why would i did focused on my breath i've been meditating at least once a day most times twice a day for over four years i think it's like five now it's probably probably is five years now yes yeah, so it's actually a little bit over five years now yeah, it's over five years. I've been, I've been, I've been focusing, straight focusing for five years on my breath. So it, it becomes a bit easy to focus on less tangible things like the source that literally is nothing. You know what I'm saying? In my soul and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I can't say I always just go to full source mode, but it's easy. It's easy as fuck to get to my soul and then eventually to get the source and all that. You know what I'm saying? I've been focusing for five years. You know what I'm saying? And I was just reading a book about Agni Yoga and stuff like that. Bro, people, bro, pill. When, when monks start this shit, they, they practice focus for years, bro. I didn't know that I just was doing it. And it always felt good just focusing on my breath. It, it, I'm going to get to that with the, with the meditation part. Let's, let's stay on the goal part. Long story short, when you meditate, right? If you want to achieve a goal, focus on the goal when you meditate. Because you have something to focus on. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's the tangible. Focus on that for however long you want to. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you charge you with thoughts, emotions, and energy to actually achieve that goal. Because you're focused on that goal. You're saying, hey, mind, do stuff for this. You know what I'm saying? But then other times, you just get rid of stuff flying inside. Like other thoughts that say, oh, do this. And you focus on that. And you do that shit. And it goes away from your whole entire goal. Stop doing that shit. Okay? And I'm going to help you gain focus with the last part that says how to get better at focusing and how to know we're in how and how to know when you're good enough to focus on nothing you know what i'm saying but here's the importance of focus on meditating because this is really important for spiritual people right this is where this is where like spiritual people i hope y'all i hope y'all ain't click off hope you hope you, the, the regular motherfuckers okay whatever y'all can click the fuck off you know what i'm saying but if you were a spiritual nigga who want to meditate on some spiritual shit bro here's why it's super important bro see when you meditate right Without focus, right? You're just opening yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you open yourself up, why don't you open yourself up to? So, inside the cheetah part of your mind, right? C H I T T A, right? That they that they uh, talk about when it comes to the um, whole motherfucking uh, Hindu shit, right? Pretty much the causal plane, the plane that causes you to have certain thoughts. Most, you know what I'm saying. The causal plane, right? Pretty much the like unconscious, pretty much the unconscious level of mind, right? You know what I'm saying. Inside there are what they call impressions, right? All your past actions, emotions, thoughts, your karma. That's what karma is. You know what I'm saying. Which gives you your vasana or your smell. You know what I'm saying. Which makes you attract certain things, right? All the all your past thoughts, most all that shit's inside there, right? So. You have certain like negative tendencies and impulses that may be inside your mind, right? When you open yourself up, all that shit flows through way more. If you can't focus on whatever intent you have, because some people don't even have a fucking intent. Some people's intent is literally just to open up. I'm starting I'm starting to see the side up behind this whole open up shit. When they just say open up shit and, they, and there's no intent behind it. I, I swear to God, they want to open you up to certain shit. That's that, I'm, I'm on y'all niggas. I got the clairvoyance. I see it through. I see right through it. I'm on y'all niggas' asses. I'm starting to think that's why niggas promote meditation heavy with this new way, with the whole new age shit. Because I made a video about how new age shit is not really new. But I'm starting to see the whole like nigga just meditate open 
open up shit. Like, you're not even saying open up to source. How are you going to say open up to source? These people can't even freaking feel what source even is yet. This is not how people just said it when they came to the old yogi schools and the whole Buddhist schools and nah, nigga. They taught the actual science of meditation, how to start this shit and how to end this shit. It's about focusing on the source, but you can't focus on the source if you can't even focus on a tangible object at first. Come on now. Huh, 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 huh. So with that being said, right? First things first, you open up to your own negative tendencies, right? If, if you've been suppressing certain shit, meditation may open you up to that shit. And if you can't really focus on an intent, if you don't even have an intent, then when certain shit pop up, if you don't have an intent, then when certain shit pop up, you're definitely going to be more... more, more you're definitely going to be more likely to just grab on to that shit. Whatever thought pops up, emotion, memory, whatever pops up, you're going to just grab on to that shit. You're going to be way more likely to do that shit. Now, with an intent... You could just go back to whatever your intent was to focus on my goal, to focus on my breath, to focus on the candle, focus on the eye. You know what I'm saying? You could just go back to the intent of what you want to focus on, right? So that so it's a bit easier with intent because that's the point to have an intent before meditating. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the whole new way sigh up. <laughs> so it's like with no intent, you're going to be fucked up. And then plus, that's just your own shit. That's just your own memories and suppressed shit. Nigga, there's astral influences also, huh? There's astral niggas, niggas meditate that out of nowhere be like, oh, let me just go do this bullshit that's gonna fuck me up and destroy all my progress real quick. Huh, huh, huh. Astral entities. Understand that thoughts are intelligent. Even if they're not conscious, they're intelligent. Meaning that certain thoughts have an ability to know things and act out that knowledge. So if you open yourself up, right, and you already vibrate on a certain plane, right, that may not be the best, right? You can have thoughts that are that 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 are attracted to that way of vibration and come to you. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even originate from you. Like you can literally think a thought and then receive a thought. Now understand that you're not thinking thought 24 7. Sometimes you just receive a thought. Oftentimes that's not you. You know, it could be your spirit guy, which is more aligned technically to you. It technically is, in a way, you. But when I say you, I mean your personality and your intellect. So your personality is pretty much how you express yourself and your character and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's when you say, I am Bob or whatever the fuck your name is, right? That's your personality and character and shit, right? Your intellect is what you use to think, which you could use to also build your character and personality. You know what I'm saying? You can add thoughts to your mind that shape your personality and your character. You know what I'm saying? In the shape your identity also, and what you identify yourself as. You can just think shit up and then put it inside your mind. Remember how your unconscious mind holds your old thoughts, emotions, all that shit? If you program your unconscious mind to hold certain shit, then all that shit's gonna pop. Then all that shit pops up and guides you to what the fuck you want to do. All that shit. I, I'm gonna kind of talk about that. I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? So with all that, shit, I hope I hope you still don't cut for storage. With all that shit being said, though, right? Shabam. Whatever rate, whatever rate you vibrate on, right? Certain thoughts are attracted to that, which is why if you focus on your goal 24-7, the thoughts for that will be there. It's kind of like you'll get thoughts from your future self and future friends and shit like that, literally, because you may have certain friends in the future that guide you towards your path, right? But you may you not be you may, you may not even be in the stage where you have those friends yet. But guess the fuck what? If you only focus on your goal, right, which may include you having those friends that guide you, right? That means that when while you're focusing on that goal, right? You'll get certain thoughts that may literally tell you to go somewhere where you meet that friend that. And it's kinda like that, it's kinda like that friend was talking to you type shit. Cause let's say if you're let's say let's say let's say you wanna be hey for my boy that make beats, right? Let's say you're always focusing on beats and shit like that, right? And you're like, damn, where can I fucking connect more shit like that? You get the idea to go to a fucking beat place, right? You go to like some music event or some shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Or you just say, fuck, let me go to the record store and see what the fuck's at the record store. You know what I'm saying? You just go somewhere that's gonna have niggas who, who fuck with beats and shit, right? You go there, you meet somebody, all the niggas, y'all niggas become cool and shit, y'all business partners, all that shit, right? And it's kind of like your fruit, and it's kind of like your friend from the future that was already there and, ex and existed kind of told you, hey, go to the fucking vinyl shop and get some, rec go to the record shop, you know what I'm saying, and meet me, or go to the music event and meet me. You know what I'm trying to say? If you stay focused on the goal, you have thoughts that align with that goal. They make you do certain shit for that goal. You know what I'm saying? So with all that shit being said, stay focused on your goal and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But even with, but even with med that, that's for the goal shit. With meditation and also with the with the superhero shit, that's true. Also, you, you, you yogis who fly can focus a lot, my nigga. It's a lot of energy and power they got, my nigga. 
<laughs> all that shit really is real you know what i'm saying even when, even if it comes to some simple like telepathy right you got to be able to focus on a person like if a person's trying to send you words right you gotta be able to focus on a part of them that sends words because you can pick up on images words intents uh what you can pick up on you can even someone can have a certain thought right and then you by picking up on that thought, you make your own image. So let's say somebody's thinking about mother freaking weed, right? And they're just saying weed inside their head. You may get an image of weed or vice versa. They have weed inside their head. Now you hear, they have, they have the image of weed inside their head. Then you hear the words weed. You know what I'm saying? So it goes like that also. It could be direct. They think about weed with the image. And you see the image also. Or it could be they have image, you have word or something. You don't know, all that. It, telepathy is pretty tricky. And if you can't focus on these different parts of yourself that can actually interpret certain shit, you're not going to understand what the fuck is really going on for. You know what I'm saying? Focus is important with fucking everything. So with all that being said, with meditation, right? You got to be able to learn how to focus on something at first. And then you learn how to focus on your soul and source and other people's energies and all that shit. But you must learn how to focus first. So how do you even build focus? Here's a very... I'm going to give y'all three methods, right? My favorite one's the last one. Now, with the first method, right? Get an object, like this water bottle, right? And you look at it, right? Look at every single just focus on the bottle and nothing else if certain thoughts pop up no go back to the bottle this bottle has some shit that says c a c r v on it i'm gonna just look at the, okay you know what i'm saying i look at that shit i may look around okay this has it has these lines and this barcode that says zero seven eight all that other shit and it has this shit that says motherfucking is that 2020 this is the, the flat oh, that's it that should say 20 percent. this should say purify watches focus on the bottle right and then do that for like however long you want to right start off with a minute then two five somewhere right then close your eyes right and then imagine the bottle inside your head in perfect detail you know what i'm saying imagine where the purified water was where the fucking zero seven eight shit was you know what i'm saying imagine where the 20 percent shit was you know what i'm saying imagine the bottle with full detail now, pit game. I've never really done that before. That I've never really done that practice. But that, that's one like the basic practices, right? Here's another one. I've done this one before, and this one actually helps you open your third eye also. Light a candle and just stare at that shit. Don't go away from the candle. You know what I'm saying? If you want, you can even you can even have the intent that the candle's helping you burn up shit. See, what when it comes to fire cleansing, that's for cleansing the spirit. And the best way to think about that is just your identity, right? You identify with different shit when you cleanse with fire. You know what I'm saying? When you cleanse with water, that's more like emotional shit. When you cleanse with um wind, that's like intellectual shit. You know what I'm saying? So with all that being said, when you cleanse with fire, that's more spiritually based. That's more identity based. You just become a new person. You become more of your actual spirit type shit. You cleanse the thing that you cleanse everything that blocks you from your from your spirit and your soul and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you could you can have that intent also while staring at a candle. You can stare at a candle, then just bam, right? And then you can even feel like your third eye kind of opening up if you kind of place your focus on that also type shit. But basic stuff, just stare at a candle for like five minutes, ten minutes, you know what I'm saying? Stare at a candle type shit, right? And then, if you want to, you can even do that shit inside your mind. Imagine a candle inside your mind staring at the flame, you know what I'm saying? Bam. Now here's... Now, I've done that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Mainly it's just the staring at a candle part. I never really always, I never, oh, actually, I have, I, when I imagine fire, it's usually a big ass fire, never really a candle. But, um, unless I'm trying to do like a single point focus, I have done that a, a couple of times. Now, here's what I've always done for years simply just focus on your breath. Why? Because your breath, you could carry with you. Whatever you need to focus, come back to your breath. Your breath will be like your anchor. You could always focus on your breath. Always. Literally, just practice, just practice focusing on your breath. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, five, ten. Focus on your breath. That's it. Whatever else pops up, go back to the breath, right? Now, you're going to notice, right? As you do this, right, certain thoughts may be harder to just ignore. But as you focus on your breath, when certain thoughts pop up, it's kind of, you just, it's kind of like you just burn them away. You can have the intent to burn thoughts away if you want to. Because having the intent can help. You know what I'm saying? So whatever thoughts pop up, it's just, just go back to your breath, right? And when those thoughts pop up, you kind of starve them of energy. Because think about it like this, right? It's like when you focus on your breath, you take the oxygen from those thoughts. It's weird, but believe it or not, in actual yogic books, they actually talk about this type of shit. I've read several books where they talk about how you literally... I, like, I, I'm pretty sure... Like, I remember on some Egyptian shit, I've seen it on some 
Indian shit. I've seen it in. I'm not sure about some. I've actually no. I have seen it about about starving your yeah and awesome Tao shit too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's like you start them with oxygen and energy by focusing back on your breath. It's like when you go like when the thought pops up, you just suck it back and like no, the energy that made that thought, I I draw it back in now and I get, and I can make it do some new shit. You know what I'm saying? And as you cleanse and cleanse and cleanse like that more, it's like other shit from the unconscious pop up. Like that past life shit and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? But if you always just have a thought pop up and act off it or just think about it too much, like for like for example, you could have a you could you could have a thought pop up, right? And then you, you stop meditating and you act off it, or it just pops up and you keep on thinking about it, right? Then you say dismissed, right? But when you dismiss it, we wow, I said dismiss it. <laughs> that list was crazy. When you dismiss it, right? It's like it goes back inside your unconscious mind because you gave it energy by, by you could because you kept on thinking about it. Because you kept on thinking about it. Where your attention goes, energy flows. If you keep on placing attention on every thought that pops up, you feel that energy, then it goes back inside your unconscious mind. Even like now, now, now peep game on this shit when it comes to the astral shit, right? You could have certain beings, warlocks, whatever fuck just send you certain thoughts, right? And if you keep on thinking about that thought. The energy that the warlock sent to you that made the certain that made a certain thought and emotion now gets lost inside your unconscious mind because you keep on thinking about this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just banishing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that. It's like that also. That's how you can literally have like this is how you get certain ways of like possession and stuff like that. If a certain entity comes around and is making you think certain thoughts, whether because because warlocks could actually send entities, right? Or entities which has come to you. You know what I'm saying? When you're on a lower level, you have lower level beings come to you, which means that they're not as intelligent. Which also which means that they're I mean, they're intelligent, but they're not really conscious. They get drawn to you off your vibration type shit. But they don't really say, I'm going to come here and fuck you up. They just kind of just do it kind of a thing, right? So if you're a lustful person, you may have lustful spirits that come around, right? That come to just feed off you because they just feel the lust and like, oh, let me go feed off that real quick. You know, it's like, you know how like, it's like an animal. Animals aren't conscious, you know what I'm saying? But when they're hungry, they try to sense for food like a shark can smell blood. You know what I'm saying? It's the same with sexual beings or angry beings. You know what I'm saying? And warlocks could send the anger demon or like a sexual demon or you just naturally attract them. You know what I'm saying? And when you focus on them shits, you feed it energy and stuff like that. And then it kind of gets stuck inside of your mind. It just always comes around. You know what I'm saying? So and then when it, then when it comes to a more conscious entity, right? That's when they could like literally like they, they could send you certain thoughts on purpose that make your mind more open to a whole bunch of shit, sexual shit, angry shit, all kind. You know what I'm saying? So that's why focus is really important. You know what I'm saying? And you don't really got to worry about is this an entity fuck with me? Is the world I fuck with me? If you just learn how to just simply focus, it, just, it won't really matter because thoughts pop up. And I'm telling you that most thoughts are entities. You know what I'm saying? They're not like super crazy demon shit. They're just low level intelligences that are trying to survive based off your energy that you focus on and shit you know what i'm saying and if you keep on feeding that thought your energy and stuff like that is going to eventually act through you and then you're going to pretty much give these intelligences life through your body and i know it's crazy to, it may sound crazy and scary to say but it's true but it won't really matter if you don't worry about that shit because all your fucking life you may not really give a fuck about that shit you just always thought about the thought as being you in some kind of a manner you know what i'm saying so if you, if you keep that same energy but just say i'm not gonna act off this shit no more it doesn't really matter you don't gotta worry about beings trying to scare you and all it doesn't really fucking matter i'm telling you it doesn't matter because most most shit you experience is, is some other being shit and you don't even fucking know it and it could be spirit of god shit and it don't really fucking matter you know what i'm saying you can literally have the intent to also call upon spirit guides too and then focus on thoughts that, are, that make you feel good and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But simply just focus on your breath and stuff like that, right? And then at certain points, some shit will pop up that, that carries your attention away. Like, for example, you may just have some shit pop up like a goal to which, like, you, 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 you may just be focusing and meditating, then you just have an image of a goal you want to achieve. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Act off that shit. Sometimes you may say, fuck that shit. It doesn't, you know. Certain shit will pull you and it's going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? But like, 
Long story short, just learn how to focus on your breath and stuff like that. And when helpful shit pops up, then you can kind of act on that. You know what I'm saying? But you could also be like that thought pops up. You feel the energy and put it back inside your mind to pop up later. Like when you're done meditating type shit. You know what I'm saying? So there is that. Now, here's how you know when you're ready to focus on the source, a.k.a. nothing. You'll be able to meditate. And kind of just like feel good. When you, well, I'm telling you, if you just practice focusing on your breath, you're going to learn how to just feel good. I'm telling you, it feels good. When you start focusing on that good feeling, you, you learn how to you learn how to perceive more subtle shit and focus on more subtle shit. And you can literally just focus on feeling. And this is, this is where you get to the point where you can make any feeling that you want. Because you can always remember how you felt in certain moments. If you just go back to that moment, like for example... If you felt good two days ago, right? You can think about that good feeling, right? And just keep focusing on that and then make yourself feel that. And put it inside your whole entire being. But people who can't focus, right? Could just focus on it for a couple of seconds and then say, okay, I got to actually do that thing to feel it. No, just focus on the feeling for an extended period of time. It will, if, if it comes to, if you want to feel high, you could do it with feeling high also, literally. And then imagine what happens when you try to, Imagine what happens when you focus on feeling high and then actually smoke after. You get higher now, literally. And then you imagine that high-ass feeling and then only put that inside yourself and smoke with that high. You know, you get the point. Same with shrooms, any psychedelic, any feeling, any state of being. If you could just remember that state of being and then focus on it, you could create that state of being once again, literally. You know what I'm saying? But you got to get good at focusing. So eventually, you just, by focusing on your breath, you know how to just focus. You, 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 you can't... You you can literally like kind of like stop breathing, just and just kind of feel the nothingness, right? Then certain shit may pop up. They go back to the breath, but you kind of just like you. It's hard to explain, but you'll know, and it's kind of good that it's hard to explain. Why? Because you're gonna be forced to actually do it and experience it for yourself now, instead of just making some shit up off my intellectual words and shit. Because people will look, bro. If you touch like people are super intellectual, bro. If you tell them some shit, they're going to take your words word for word and, shit, and try to recreate it off the words and shit. So they're just feeling what you're trying to say. That's why I'd be like, yo, do you feel what I'm saying? Because fuck, fuck understanding the words and shit. That's cool too, but can you actually feel what I'm trying to say? Because some of that word shit may not always be fully accurate. Like if I make a PowerPoint 